Hey there, welcome back to 1.99 Blind. I'm the Blind Oni. I'm the Undercover Ninja Tall. And we are bringing you a casual, sweet, calm game called Mortal Kombat 1. Let's begin. Raiden's face. <laughs> well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Of course I Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Smiling, yeah. Liu Kang places a hand on Raiden's shoulder. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. Kung Lao, Johnny, and Kenshi. Wow, that was the shortest game I've ever played. Now for the uh, night, Liu Kang sits Star in a Wars ceremony. A fire in a brazier, his eyes shut. He opens his eyes. Sand whirls on the other side of the room. Whoa. It resolves into a dark-skinned man with glowing eyes and a bald head. Gears. Gears. <gasps> He's from Mortal Kombat 11. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronos. Oh, so he doesn't have the, the power anymore. Drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. Giris takes a Jaguar figurine from a shelf. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. Okay, but how would he I have that statue? You, you are not one for social calls. You probably don't know this, but that Jaguar statue was given to him it's by the great Kung Lao in one of the what very is? old games when called you Shaolin Monks. Destiny, you mm -hmm. altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. Oh, he has from the beginning. His meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has Wonder if he's the one that was telling them the uh, the prophecies. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindale's ear, your vision of peace may already be compromised. Uh -oh. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the hourglass to see what else you can learn. The next day, Kenshi looks at a drawing of Shang Tsung with Johnny and Kung Lao. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agents. <laughs> It's a tricky mission. I'd rather read and go along than this one. Hey, <laughs> this one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. Oh. I am breaking my word. Well, he might not want down. Johnny to go. I was just going to say it, so why is it being Johnny? Or Kung Lao. Well. To the tournament. It's going to be posting all the social media. Face there. <laughs> They're both very the loud. Will only increase your I risk feel. Of being he raises a metal device. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's chi. Follow it to him. His chi? And be careful. Maybe I know he said chi. I was just Kenshi being takes funny. The talisman, then trades a look with Johnny. Okay, thank the God Kenshi took it. Desert at night, flashlight shining he probably the has the best side out of the three. Uh, are we there yet? Again? How old are you? Five? <laughs> what can I say? Oh my god, he just quoted Billy oh, Ray Cyrus oh, while you did me. your thing. I've got Sinto <laughs> strapped to my back. I will reclaim it, Cage. Got three million? It's yours. You know I don't have it. I bet you your Kuz pals could come up with it. Uh, oh, that's right. You blew him off. Why are you uh, being a dick? Lesson Hollywood's taught me it's never burn bridges. <laughs> You never know who can help. The Yakuza are leeches, bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out, 
I need my clan out too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer. Scowling, Kenshi looks down at the talisman in his palm as it glows red. He turns around and walks off. Kung Lao shines his flashlight in Johnny's face before following Kenshi uh. away. Johnny walks off to the other two. Also, holds the I don't know if Outland would have the edge of a cliff. They serve flashlights made of buildings carved from large rock what? formations. A mass of soldiers with spears battle a horde of humanoid creatures with long like, fangs They're using spears and crap, y'all. Y'all can't be over there with flashlights. That's so obvious. Uh, Dude, he Bonnie. just made a Lord of He just made a Lord of the Rings reference. He's also saying Henry Cogging as a get usual. Johnny records the battle with his phone. Two soldiers shoot. He just said, What does your precious say? His arms tied behind his back with rope. The creature thrashes in their grasp. Firelight shines on his multitude of large fangs and bald head. Shang Tsung approaches. Baraka? Hold him still. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. He raises a large syringe. Let's jump him after he's done. Don't oh, wait for him to be done. Iron. We did this thing where, like, we're not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. <laughs> Let me go. You can't do this. A soldier forces the bold creature to his knees. The wound will heal in time. It's a small price to pay for progress. He plunges the syringe into the back of the creature's neck. The creature breaks his restraints, then stabs each of the guards with a bone spike extending from his arms before turning to Shang Tsung. The horde of creatures overwhelm the soldiers outside the village. Shang Tsung Good. blocks a combination of punches and kicks the bald creature throws. The creature spin kicks Shang Tsung's head. On second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <laughs> yeah, I say we let him finish it. We have to save Shang Tsung. <laughs> Luke Kang needs about to vomit or something? The I don't think Liu Kang needs him alive. From the, cliff. the bald creature punches Shang Tsung to the ground. Kenshi jumps onto his back just as the bone spikes erupt from his arms. Oh god. The creature kicks Johnny and Kung Lao away. Shang Tsung scrambles back, then smirks and transforms into a toothy creature. He slips past the horde. How did he do that? The bald creature shoves Kenshi away. Kung Lao and Johnny stand by uh -oh. the horde. I would have killed him but for you. I get why you'd want to, but you can't. You're one of his minions. You'll die in his place. Am I Kenshi? <laughs> okay, Baraka. I need you to calm it down, dude. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Sing it over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a bad start to a day. <laughs> Ow. Probably. Realistically, you're probably right. Oh, 
Wow. You just made him angry. Ninja's on fire, TI. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to. <laughs> Ow! Stop! Calm down, boy. What you know, I'm supposed to beat you. I think you went harder on me. I don't think so. Put in the comments if you think that he went easy on Ninja and that this uh -huh. game is rigged. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? Ninja beat Oni, man. <laughs> Stopping it rigged. off. Now you uh, get to play the next one. Oh, uh, what? If we lose, the winner like gets to beat that one and do the next one. <sighs> it only makes sense. <sighs> and he just like took your bone marrow, bro. Alright, but you just saw he has like blades on his hands. <laughs> no, we don't. We are victims of Tarkat. The disease is not easily gotten, but you can't risk more close exposure. Johnny nervously wipes his hands. Uh. It disfigures, then debilitates. In time, uh -oh. it will turn us all into bloodthirsty monsters. Death is our only release. So you weren't always like this? I was once a rich merchant, but when oh. I became ill, I was banished. Now I run this colony. I am Baraka. Baraka! With your bone marrow, Baraka. I don't know, but he comes here each month to harvest it. Release us and we'll capture Shang Tsung. And we'll find out why he's been coming here. I promise. Baraka looks back at the others. Let them go. Thank you. We won't let you down. Can't she the good Can talker? She looks down at the talisman. Damn. This was guiding us to Shang Tsung. Now we can't find him. His laboratory is near. I'll take you. Morning light Dude, shines. this is like the, leads the trio toward a wood bad and version of Wizard of Oz. Two water wheels <laughs> spin nearby. Any idea what we just got the scarecrow on our side. I've never been inside. <laughs> Stay here. We'll check it out. Kenshi, Kung Lao, and Johnny step to a long bridge stretching from the bank to the tower. The three men sneak through the tower to a laboratory. The Wizard of Mortal Kombat. Kenshi motions for silence as the others trail him up a staircase. This new serum is exactly what we need. Its effects will be immediate and long lasting. Is he trying to How can you be sure? infect people because with Tarkot? It's from freshly extracted Tarkot and marrow. It couldn't be more potent. He raises the syringe, full of liquid. Melina uh -oh. lies on a medical table by her uh -oh. eyes shut. Rain and Tanya stand nearby. He is infecting Malina. And Tanya's on her Shang side? Wait, what? Syringe. And he's got two of Sindel's top dogs in on it. No wonder Liu Kang is worried about this guy. We need to stop him. Save a distressed damsel? <laughs> sure thing. Johnny smirks, then runs into the laboratory with Kung Lao and Kenshi. They square off against Tanya, Rain, and Shang Tsung. Get away from her, you bitch. Oh, <laughs> you know the movie. Tiny girl, that arms alien. Alien. Oh He's quoting gosh. alien. Oh my god. How did they find it? They've already seen too much. Tanya charges with a three-section staff. Johnny blocks uh -oh. her attack. Then Kung Lao kicks her back. Can she spin kicks the syringe from Shang Tsung's hand? I need time. Buy it for me. Liu Kang sent you, didn't he? Sent you to learn our secrets. He sent us here for Shang Tsung. 
but it looks like he's just part of the problem. Action! Ooh. Ninja vs. Rain. Should be saying since I don't know, I'm the one that beat you. Oof. You can do all the wall banging you want. I'm still gonna beat you. Cool move, dude, but still cool move. You can do all the wall banging you want. I'm still gonna beat you. I am still crushing you. Damn. Wall begging has nothing on me. Passing into only for real this guy. <laughs> Dang. What happens when I remember my name? I have to can fight well. <laughs> if you saw our last video, you would understand that reference. <laughs> oh. In imperial matters, it is you, not I, who is the schemer here. Okay. I think I get it. <laughs> Passing it off. So L2 changes his stance. Oh. He has entirely different moveset. Moveset. If you change his stance. <laughs> but you only hit it once. Not infect her. We've heard about how you lie. Excuse us if we're skeptical. Cover up. Kung Lao and Johnny move to Shang Tsung while Kenshi rushes to Melina. He holds a hand to her head as she lies inert. Princess, are you all right? Uh, is it over? Yes, you're safe. We've stopped Shing Tsung. Stopped him? Why? Uh oh. Melina starts to violently spasm. Princess! Princess! She hits him. What did you do to her? It's what you've done, fool. Let me help her before it's too late. Can she backs away while Melina's teeth transform into fangs. Convulsing, she sits up and turns to Kenshi. Mandibles unfurl from her jaw and a long tongue waggles out. She uh. breaks the metal restraint on her wrist and stands. Now do you believe Earthrealmers? What do we do? Keep her occupied. I need time to finish more serum. Johnny, a hand? <laughs> we got pages for this? Or are we winging it? Whatever we do, we can't hurt her. Hurt uh, 
I'm worried about us. Right? Melina bounds to Johnny and pulls at him. Princess, we can help you. Your blood. I smell it. How sweet it will be to lick off my fingers. Oh, God. <laughs> Action. People are going to take that and do horrible, horrible things right. with it. You are an HR nightmare, Melina. <laughs> Passing the back off to the homie. <laughs> Shang Tsung fills a syringe with liquid as Melina throws Johnny and Kong Lao off. Melina dashes to a table and grabs her side blades from it, then leaps at Kenshi and impales his eyes with them. <gasps> mm. Oh! She rips the blades free. Shang Tsung injects the syringe into her neck. He holds her as she goes still. She sags to the floor as her oh. features transform back to normal. Um. Melina! Katana, General Shao, and an armored Shokan burst into the lab. What's happened here, sorcerer? These men were sent to disrupt your sister's treatment. And no, we weren't. And outworld by revealing her illness. No, we weren't. What? That's totally fake news. No, <laughs> The Shokan punches him hard, then pummels Kung Lao to the floor. Thank you, Goro. I've no stomach for Earthrealm lies. We should detain the Earthrealmers and the Tarkatan we found outside. That is some BS. The Empress is ready to respond to this incursion. Agreed. General Shao gestures to four soldiers. They haul Kenshi, Johnny, and Kung Lao away. But she must realize that this incident proves Earthrealm's bad faith. We must strike them now to protect ourselves. No. No, they would not do this. There must be a misunderstanding. Yeah, good, Katana. They all turn to a portal made of spiraling green light opening nearby. A bald outworlder with tawny skin emerges from the portal and regards them all. He has black markings around his eyes and a red symbol tattoo on his head. It is no misunderstanding, princess. It is a confirmation of my prophecy. Dude. Left unchecked, Liu Kang will The Deadly Alliance. He kneels by Katana. I apologize for not arriving sooner. To defend your sister, I am glad she received her treatment. The princess is safe, but the threat from Earthrealm remains. Yes. Hmm? Quan Chi, when do you anticipate they will strike? Soon. Today's events were foretold in the final quatrains of the prophecy. Then I am right. We must act now, princess. I will take your concerns to the Empress. It is for her to decide. Rain, Tanya, assist me. Rain and Tanya lift Melina from the floor. Rain carries Melina out of the laboratory with Tanya supporting her lolling head. What truly happened here, sorcerer? That the Earth Realmers interrupted the princess's treatment was happenstance. 
They were here to capture me for Liu Kang. You? Why? That I must investigate. For now, let us revel in our good fortune. The Earthrealm's serendipitous arrival has given us ample evidence to convince the Empress of the truth of Quan Chi's prophecy. Conflict with the uh -oh. Earthrealm is now inevitable. Not necessarily. The Empress has never been eager for conflict. If she resists, she will be replaced. Our world needs a steadfast leader. A leader like you, perhaps. <gasps> oh, sh My realm Shang Tsung, you... Mm -hmm. Shang Tsung smirks at Shao. Kill the Earth no. It cannot report back to Liu Kang. Oh, their dance will also feed the Isle between realms. Two birds, one stone. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Our benefactor will be pleased. She needs the realms at war, not at the brink of it, in order to conquer them both. Only then will they rule at her side. Before okay, we have learned what he's been doing. Thought such a thing possible. But soon she left transformed us from serfs into scions. Quan Chi stares at Shang Tsung unblinkingly. Twitching multi deadly alliance. Hangs... All right, but I think that's a perfect time to end this chapter. This has been 1.99 Blind. I'm the Blind Oni. <laughs> I'm the Younger Cover Ninja Tall. And I hear that if you like and subscribe to this video, you won't get Tarkot. <laughs>